Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe file. We are jumping in again, continuing our streak, and this time we are playing as Tainted Bethany, which is a character that I find pretty, I would say pretty easy, but it's, it's a character that I'm reasonably confident with, and it can go pretty well. You get the Lemmageddon, you can spawn some stuff, we get Pinhead and Friendfolio, I think we got there. Um, which is decent, we get some nice friends with us, and the best thing about this character it always has been is just this character has so much extra protection because of the uh, the wisps that you gain constantly, the, the Lemmageddon wisps, basically you can use those to protect yourself against shots. Obviously that does mean they get destroyed a bit quicker when you do that, but it's still really really valuable to sort of think about the fact that you've got sort of that extra level of protection, but as we're continuing to go through our streak, Making our way up to hopefully 28, I think, is where I wanted to get to. Um, that was my my oldest streak prior. So we're trying to get there if we can. Um, I'm looking... At the minute, I'm, like, not playing characters that are too hard. Because I, like, I now, at this point, don't really want to risk the streak too much. So I apologize for pussying out a little bit on a place with the easier characters here and there. But it is what it is. Um, I'm hoping we can keep it going and not... Not mess it up too much. I did see a tinted rock in that previous room there, so I'm going to try and get a bomb for that if we can. As for the question of the day today, um, hmm, what's your next big plan? What's the next big thing you've got lined up for yourself? Because at the minute for me, I've spoken about it a little bit on my series prior, but I, uh, I'm going to be going to Amsterdam um, for my birthday for about a week um, in a few days' time. It's my birthday on the 24th. It's currently... As I'm recording this, the 21st, um, you guys are on quite a backlog right now because I've been backlogging ready for when I go to Amsterdam. Um, but I'm excited to go. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, got a lot of like different things planned. Going to a lot of the different museums. Um, eating some of the amazing food. It's gonna be real good. It's gonna be real good. Well, that is a bomb, but it's not the sort of bomb I wanted. Did not mean to use that death card. Yeah. Yeah. Got Capricorn, Cornhead. I'm pretty happy with. Yeah, that, that was a bomb that we got there, but unfortunately it wasn't a bomb that I can use, so a little bit annoying on that front. Either way, we got some good uh, Lemmageddon Wisps already. Capricorn, Capricorn giving, us, giving us some stats up is rather nice. Pinhead giving us the um, ability to pierce is also pretty nice. And then Kernhead gives us plus one soul heart, which is lovely in itself. Uh, and then on top of that, we get the um, we get the added extra. Dude, this was this was very nice. You just killed yourself on that there. That's something that I can respect. Oh my god, your animation. It's so long, my guy. Now I've just got to be careful of the uh, thingies. Of the f Ugh, I knew I was going to get hit there. I was trying to be careful of the shots that are flying in. Unfortunately, we get the corn kernel, which... Ugh, just true depression when you get the corn kernel. It's so terrible. I mean, speaking to Never Named at the moment, um, the, uh, basically about, I don't know if you guys have seen the, I don't know if any of you watch Enter the Gungeon, if you don't, you should, it's very, like, the modding scene in that game is really hotting up at the moment, there's a lot of cool stuff going on, so if you haven't checked it out, please do, but I've been mean, speaking to him, um, about the modding scene at the moment, and currently the, um, thing called Rat, which is the room architecture tool, uh, basically, it's the the way that they create custom rooms in Gungeon. They've been developing the tool more and more over the past um, sort of few weeks, and they've really gotten it to a place of being quite impressive. Um, it can do some crazy good stuff. Oh yes, gotta love a bit of my reflection. If you don't love my reflection, there's something deeply, deeply wrong with you. Now that was a good set of sacks because we got some red hearts and stuff. Arrow of Light's decent as well. Good stuff. Hey, excuse me, heart. Get in my belly. Yeah, I love my reflection. My reflection is very, very nice. We'll never complain about a bit of my reflection. Good, good, good. Yeah, they've been doing some really cool stuff. Like, a lot of the stuff that they use in the regular rooms can now be done, which prior wasn't possible. They've been making some really, really interesting stuff, and I'm really looking forward to the update coming out and being able to create some rooms of my own. Uh, as well as being able to play some of the custom rooms. I actually, for those of you that don't know, I went through a phase of creating a hell of a lot of rooms for Enter the Gungeon using that the old version of that tool. We're getting some good items right now. Um, when I made the rooms for the Expand of the Gungeon mod. Um, and I streamed a lot of that. I streamed a lot of room creation. I think I'm going to do that again. 
I think when I get back into room creating, I'm going to um, stream a bunch of it again because I really enjoyed doing that and it was really, really like, relaxed, chilled streams. Um, so I might, I might do that again. I don't know if I should do it on YouTube or Twitch. I haven't really decided. I think I've definitely got a bigger audience on YouTube. It'd be easier. Um, but um, Twitch like, Twitch is just better for streaming in general. So it's, it's kind of a hard decision, really. I feel it's a lot harder for people to find that I'm streaming when I stream to um, Twitch. But... Yeah, there's a lot more that you can do on Twitch. Fortunately, I got hit there, but we got a decent amount of hearts. We got a zealot heart at the end here. Um, oh, this this thing has a new graphic now. I don't think we're going to do devil deal here. Dude, so many damage ups. I think I will for a broken heart. Reroll this into the pentagram. Our damage is so good right now. We get a Zealot Heart here, which just means we get an extra Lemma Get and Wisp every floor, which is nice. This is a good start for this character, I've got to say. This is a good start. I'm just going to take a sip of my Fanta Fruit Twist. Very nice. I have a two-liter bottle on my desk, so if you, if you can hear it a bit, I apologize. But I don't have anything smaller. I could have put it in a glass, I guess, but hell no. Don't destroy my Wisps! Get away! Oh, you bastards. That was so much wisp destruction there. Oh god. I've, 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 I gotta say, I've just realized what's going on with that room there for a hot second. Um, I was like, where the hell did I get this little Mrs. Pooter? But I'm pretty sure Mrs. Pooter is one of the uh, wisps that we gained. I think it was the one that we gained from our uh, Lamageddon heart, our zealot heart. No, thank you. Yeah, this seems like it's going to be a pretty classic run. We've already got a lot of wisps around us, which is really good for protection. Um, we've got really good damage right now. We have, th I think we've got three damage ups going, one actual and a bunch of um, a bunch of wisp ones. So, in terms of uh, damage wise, we're looking real spicy right now. Real spicy indeed, and we're just gonna keep sort of keeping that train alive. Also, I don't know what, what we've got that's doing this crazy amounts of knockback, but I'm really liking it. Hey, Strange Apple, nice. Yeah, we're doing like a lot of knockback at the minute. I'm enjoying that. We've got some froggies in the house. Frogs aren't that bad. They can be a little annoying. These guys are the real annoyances, because they fire out a lot of shots, and they, they don't particularly like cooperating too much. Item room. Go, Strange Apple. Do your thing. Uh, GB Bug... I guess I'll take it. I'm not a big fan of GB Bug, personally. Gotta love that. Maybe we got a bomb out of it, at least. Yeah, GB Bug's one of those things where it's it's decent, but it can kind of screw you over uh, by re-rolling stuff accidentally that you don't want it to. But for the most part, it's decent. It's decent. I won't, I won't diss it too much. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I still, to this day, I don't know why people don't like my reflection. It literally doesn't harm your shots really at all. It, it just makes them better. Extra little soul heart there. Lovely. Health is looking very, very nice right now. Pop that again. X-ray vision. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yes. X-ray vision's such a damn good one to get for us. Um, because now we can start using Lemmageddon in secret rooms more reliably, and it just means we can see secret rooms more reliably. Good, good, good. Um, and then second secret room, I don't actually have a bead on where that would be. But I guess I'll look for it, considering I've got X-Ray. I think it'd be rude not to. I'm feeling like it's going to be over here somewhere. No, I thought it would be at the end of this corridor. I guess not. Maybe it's at the end of this other corridor over here. Kind of glad I came back, though. We've got a nice amount of bombs here, uh, which we don't particularly need now that we've got X-ray, but we're not going to have X-ray forever, so... Is it at the end of this hallway here? No? Hmm. I'm very confused. Is there a second secret room here? It's looking like there's no second secret room here, which is weird, but I guess it can happen on occasion. Strange. Anyhow. Oh, no, there you go. Okay, it's just because I gained, I gained extra in this room, I see. Okay. Weird. Um, yes, please. 
quite a lot of hearts there. Thank you. Hey, we got Chubb. Apparently, this guy got a little bit of a refresh in the most recent update to have some Super Meat Boy sound effects added to him, which is rather nice. I love the rework of this boss. It's so, like... I don't know, he's got so much more personality. That's one of the things I, I, oh, I love about the Rework First mod. Just all of the reworks, like Mr. Fred, this one, they just have so much more personality and style. Okay, we lost Capricorn. I think that was Capricorn, at least. Shame. Uh, we do get good old little Chad, which is pretty good for us, actually, because that's charges. Um, and then we get Act of Contrition, which is... A HP up and a tears up, which is pretty decent. We have done Mega Satan here, so we don't need to grab this. But do you know what? I will anyways, because, um, why not? Oh. That was really stupid. This this might have been a terrible idea, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm already regretting this, because I'm going to lose some Wisps here. I've already lost one. I managed to somehow bomb myself and lose my Zealot Heart. I, I, I threw a bomb down, and it just got whacked directly back into me. So that was a bit of a failure. Chain spiky, nice. Okay, it is what it is. We got a slot machine there from our trinket. Not that we need it. More of my Fanta. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, health's fine. Just annoying to lose our cell at heart unnecessarily. We had it pretty locked down. Oh god. The enemies in here I'm not a big fan of. Good, good, good. We get a secret room straight away. Azure spin down. Uh, do you know what? Yeah, I'll I'll use the Azure spin down. And 20% uh, chance to get an extra item charge on room clearing. All batteries are turned into bombs. Yes. I like that a lot. Get You get more bombs overall, which is kind of nice. And 20% chance to get an extra charge on a room clear. Is pretty substantial, I'd say. I'd say that's pretty goddamn good. Good, good. Pisces, even more knockback. That's nice. And we get a, a true tears up as well here. Acts of Contrition and this have both been true tears up, which is really nice. Pesci is uh, unfortunately not going to give us the health up it normally would. We lost another thing there. It's going to be a little hard to keep track of what we have and what we've lost. There is a mod out there that gives you a list of what you have. Probably should have that on. Oh, well. We gained an extra charge from that room as well. Lovely. Yeah, after this, going to record a little bit of um, of the old... What's it called? Um, what the hell's the game called? Voidiger. Good old Voidiger. Been enjoying that a lot. Um... And then, yeah, this week there isn't going to be a Darkest Dungeon episode for any of you out there that watch that. I know that not a lot of you on my channel watch the Darkest Dungeon series. It's maybe not sort of your thing. But um, for those of you that do enjoy it, unfortunately there will not be an episode this week. More damage up, lovely. Uh, because, yeah, as I said, I'm going to be aware and it's a series that I'm reactive with in terms of, like, I um, read, like, what people write and I add them into the episodes. I can't really do that if I'm recording it ahead of time. So I thought I'd just skip a week with that. Like I said, it's not a ton of people that watch that series anyways. Although I wish more people would. I really enjoy the Darkest Dungeon series. And a lot of... I'd say of the series on my channel, it's probably the series that the most effort goes into. Yeah, it's the series with the lowest views, but I enjoy doing it, so... And the people I do it with do more damage. The people I do it with enjoy doing it as well, so it's, it's not that big a deal. Quickly check what's going on here. Not much. Good. We're killing stuff reasonably quickly here. I mean, the damage we've got is pretty impressive. Yeah, get out of here. More black sacks. I like that. Justice. Gave us an eternal heart. Booyah. Okay. Pretty good going there. Pretty good going. Right. Boss time it is. Unfortunately, our spiky thing here didn't really land in a great spot. I was hoping to maybe, like, coax him into it to get him more damage out, but it doesn't look like it's an ideal situation to do that, really. Anyway, he's dead. Doesn't matter. I didn't need to. 
Right. Gold flakes. If this if this trinket while gold actually does something, I'm gonna be so happy. All oh, the golden brain worm. Okay, this is tricky. Because if this thing gold actually works, that's incredible. But brain worm is so goddamn good. I think I've got to take golden brain worm, even though I doubt it being gold does anything. Um brain worm is still basically just herming. And I think with my reflection, it'll be really good. Because we've got, like, really high range. So they can stay in the air longer, I think. I might be wrong about that. Either way, getting a golden brainworm from that's pretty awesome. Too bad there. Good, good. But yeah, um, if that had given us 40% chance to get an extra charge per room, probably would have been better, but it didn't say that specifically on the card, so I'm dubious if that would work or not. Dude, Cricket's body as well. Yeah, it's definitely, Brainworm brain is definitely working with this. I was doing some weird stuff, actually. Kind of missed there. Oh, no, there you go. That time it hit. Okay, so if it, if it, like, changes direction at the peak of my reflection, it goes a little bit weird. But otherwise, it's good. Oh, dude. This is really annoying. Fucking hell. I couldn't kill that goddamn thing. Nightshade. What's Nightshade? I don't know what Nightshade is. I don't know what that is. Dude, this run. This run slaps. This runneth. She slaps so hard. She slap so hard. Right, compass is pretty decent here. Lanky mushroom. Nice, even more damage. Beautiful. I love Cricket's body as an item. It's just so much fun. And it is very much working out in our favor here. I'm loving the extra knockback we have from Pisces as well. That's a lot of fun. I think we're beelining it straight to the boss here. This is a run that we're just kind of going quite quick on. The only thing I'd love to see is more speed. Or that item that gives us a bunch of speed outside of combat. That would also be quite nice. Good, good, good. Jupiter. That's a speed down, so I'm not particularly happy with that. But it's not a bad item overall. It's just not great. Oh, God. Okay, luckily we killed him before he could do anything with this attack, because that attack is a nightmare for me. Lemon's good for tears. I like that. And then we finally got revelations, and it's fucking hell. This is our first revelations run. And I think revelations works with brainworm. Okay, it works with my reflection, 100%. But I, I think it works with brainworm, too. So I'm wondering how brainworm plus my reflection revelations will work here, because this is quite the combo of things. The moon, I'll just pop. The key there, we definitely want the key. Oh yeah, we got flight as well, I kind of forgot we had flight. Okay, it does work. <laughs> I was wondering how would that work. How does it work if I do it in front, though? Okay, so I've got to do it from behind for it to, to fully work. Still, this is pretty ace. This is some good shit. <laughs> Enter a room firing backwards. Release a laser. Burger bombs. Um, I honestly don't know what this would be, so I'm going to have to check. Swordfish familiar that skewers enemies and launches them away. Launch enemies, um, damage other enemies they touch. I actually don't think I want that. Surprisingly so. 
I don't think that's something I need. But I should go down and go to item room over here, though. Got this brimstone -y thing if I want it. Uh, the soul of Azazel. That's a big boy. <clears throat> nice. Took care of that nice and swiftly. Dude. Well, we're, we're one um, consolation item off of the, uh, what's it called? I can't remember what the tra transformation's called now, but there's a transformation for getting, like, a bunch of consolation items. Oh shit, there's a host there. I wonder what the hell was stopping me from leaving. Thunderthighs. Oh dude, my speed. <laughs> no, my speed. Dude, so much health as well. My speed is so bad right now. At least I can walk over rocks. Beautiful. I guess I could check my shop. Sackhead is good. I need to get rid of Thunder Thighs without getting rid of anything else. Killed the goddamn enemy. There you go, I got rid of it, I got rid of it. Okay, just getting rid of Thunder Thighs is enough to be good. Oh, speed up as well. And we just got a virus for the speed up as well. Okay. Got some good stuff there. This is this has made me feel a lot better. Right. I don't have to face backwards the whole time. I keep doing that. I keep facing backwards. I don't really need to do that in like really, really large rooms. Otherwise, facing forward works perfectly fine. We want to do dark path here. We can do boss rush as well, actually. Yeah, I don't have an active. It's not particularly good active, but I don't have an active right now, and we're going to do boss rush. Um, unfortunately, I think stigmata is the best thing here for us. Kind of interesting that I can hit the enemy in front of me and it also hits the enemy behind as well. That's kind of the preferred strategy here, isn't it? Now don't you do your fire bullshit. I can't be arsed with it. Yes, I'll extend here. Okay, it didn't really work in this occasion because the guy spawned above me, but you know what I mean. I stand here and do look at all the sides that this guy's creating. Yeah, there you go, look. <laughs> this is going to be a, a pretty quick boss rush, I think. Yeah, this is going to be a fairly quick boss rush. It's crazy how much damage I'm able to do, even though my actual damage stat isn't crazy high. I mean, it's high, but it's not, like, insane. I'm going to be able to spawn another Delirium boss next room as well. It's like the perfect situation for this Delirious item. I very rarely have this thing be usable. But in a situation where I can spawn multiple bosses... Oh, we got... <laughs> Look at this fella. Don't know what that is. Oh, I was wondering what the other enemy was. It's bloody this fucking fella, isn't it? Get out of the ground, you coward. This guy's gonna take forever to kill because he's just not gonna be asked about getting out the ground, is he? Oh, dude. Boss. Fancy brooch. Not very useful, but there you go. Dude, Mama, uh, Mama Gertie, whatever it is, is wrecking. 
wrecking enemies with these spikes. They auto lock on as well, you see that? Why are you still invincible? Come on now, this is silly. Th th those spikes literally insta-killed it. Ragman as well. Yeah, oh my god. Those spikes are a one-hit kill. Like literally I can just I can just stop playing and let, let Mama Gary do it all. Take my leave of absence, I'll go chill over here for a bit. Frail. There you go, so Bethany in the library card unlocked. Lovely. I've oh, got some red hearts about, let's try and pick those up. And like, after this point, Delirium's kind of going to be a bit useless, but... I don't, like, Nama Gertie's just kind of disappeared, but she's still doing stuff. Weird. Anyways. Goodbye, my bosses. I've got one of the Roly Ragman heads. Realistically, as a 12, 12 room active, it should just last until it dies. That's how it should work. It'd make it so much more powerful. It'd be an actually fun item to get, but because it lasts a room, it's just super, super valueless. Right. Boss man. Oh no, you hit one of my thousands of wisps. What am I, whatever am I going to do? And like, the, the fact as well, like, with, with this character, you can end up keeping wisps that you've basically had since the start of the game. It's like the very first floor. Good. We found the boss already, beautiful. Beautiful. Didn't even need to use my delirium. Who needs ya? Uh, also, apparently, the in the most recent update as well, the um, It Lives boss, Mum's Heart, got tweaked to make some of her attacks like less insane, and the blood cell phase, the one that I really don't like, has been made shorter, which is something I've been requesting for so long. So thank you, developers, for either listening to my feedback or all the people's feedback. I don't know if you got it from my videos. I don't know if you got it from just random people. If you, if any of you that work on it are watching, let me know, because it'd be interesting to know. Um, ooh, soul heart from that. Um, but yeah, like either way, big thank you, because that's something I've been asking for for a while. I thought that attack was, it just, it's not even like it's attack, just because I don't like the attack. I'm not a big fan of the style of the attack, to be honest. Uh, just because I don't like it when enemies have invincibility phases, but that's not got nothing to do with it My bigger problem was just that it just it really like kind of ruined the pace of the fight in my opinion Because you'd be like really in the groove of things doing good damage and all of a sudden it's like nope stop dealing damage You've got to die. You've got to dodge back and forward for a whole like 30 seconds Even if you are like a really good pace to kill the boss in a decent amount of time and stuff It's like nope 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 stop 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 now you gotta sit here Oh, what the hell? Um, did we get Ipecac? Whatever we got, we're immune to the explosions. Nope, we are not immune to the explosions. I don't know what's happening here. I'm unsure what's happened. I'm trying to work out what it is. I can't see any item that would be causing it, so I don't really know. With Cricket's body, I'm going to be hurting myself a lot. Okay, I'm, it must be Ipecac, because I've, I've got like 40 something damage, like 50, 55 damage. I just don't see where Ipecac is.
Yeah, it's destroying all of my wisps, so I'm not not particularly a fan of getting Ipecac here. Like, it's destroying all of my wisps. How is it destroying all my wisps, but not the fucking Ipecac wisp? Can we get rid of the Ipecac wisp, please? Where even is it? I'm trying to figure out where it is, but I can't find it. There it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. Can I destroy it on blue fires? No, I can't. Not much I can do about it, really. We're going down? Yep, down. I just don't want to lose all of my wisps because of Ipecac. That'd be, that'd be kind of sucky, but it seems like that's what's going to happen so far. Ow. It's kind of on the center circle, though, so it's kind of hard to put on purpose get rid of. Oh, I think I lost Cricket's body, though, which overall I'm not a fan of, but in general is a very pos big positive for us, because we're not going to hurt ourselves as much anymore. Okay, we might, we might be in the clear a little bit now. We've still got my reflection, which makes things not great. But now we don't have Cricket's body, there's way less of a chance of us hurting ourselves here. Oh, dude, this is going to take forever to clear out this room. I've got to clear every single spider. Oh, dude, I'm hurting myself so much with my lasers and stuff. Okay, no, this, this room actually wasn't so bad. Still, though, we've lost health, we shouldn't have lost. Yeah, this is going to be a nightmare, this. Ipecac, why? Really could have done without you. Lost a lot of health to Ipecac already. Oh, my God. Wow factor. That's really good as well. By really good, I mean it's terrible. Oh, yeah. Wow factor also absorbs our explosion effects, too. So this is, this is just nightmare fuel. This is just going to be us getting hit a lot and a lot and a lot. God, all my wisps. Just get rid of the Ipecac wisp, please. Why can't you get rid of the Ipecac wisp? I see so many of them destroying. Ceiling with the stars appeared. Nice. This was so bad. Ipecac literally ruined everything. We were doing so well. I'm actually genuinely scared for this last floor now. Where is it? Where's Ipecac? Is it still there? No, I think we- Oh, we got rid of it. Nice. Okay. We're, we're somewhat safe. Definitely take the packs here. Although, yeah, our damage and stats just are nowhere near as good as they were before because we lost a lot of wisps. But we do still have this and we do still have Brimworm, so in that respect, things are good. Wow, I'll definitely take the soul heart though, thank you. Sadly, no mapping here is kind of annoying. Yeah, we'll most certainly still be using our Revelations beam wherever we can. I'm gonna be so lost on where I've been and where I'm going here. So, so lost. I will try my best. You again.
Oh, the lasers always get me, fuck's sake, even when he's dead. Three dollar bill on this. Yeah, come on, please head the right way. It's not, fuck you game. This was so far to go in the wrong direction. Ugh. I don't remember where I came from. Here, I think. Right, I've got to make sure I'm ready with my beam before I head into a room, realistically. Oh, why? Why do I have to be you? Okay, good. More red hearts, thank you. Crack the sky. Robo baby. Okay, this feel this feels more like the right way right now. These big boys will not stop jumping. Got the cracks. My wispy tower. Hey, boss time. Good, good, good. We got that guy as well. Cool, okay. We pop this, and then we pop this. There you go. <laughs> I knew we were ready for that. We are not delirium ready though. We are going to end off the run here. Hope you guys enjoy this one. A lot of fun. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.